y'all. Coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV. But I was out at the 2021 SEMA show. And I've actually shot this car before, but it's undergone a huge transformation since the first time I've shot it. Very cool, 1978 Mustang II. Let's get the camera turned around and check it out. Dave, this thing's changed a little bit since the first time I've seen it. Yes, it has. What happened? Well, in uh, 2015, uh, so I think you filmed it in 2014. I, I shot Auto it as soon as it came out. Yeah, yeah Detroit Auto Show. Yeah. So. Uh, the car actually ended up at SEMA in 2014 and in 2015. And in 2015, uh, after SEMA, on its way back uh, from SEMA, the transport that it was in rolled over. Oh, no. And so the car was nearly destroyed, uh, had a lot of damage, but uh, luckily it was uh, main, mainly just superficial, no structural damage or anything like that. Um, so, um, you know, the, the owner at the time decided he was going to go ahead with the rebuild and started the rebuild. Um, he had it at two different shops, and I don't really know all the details, but at some point uh, the shop either closed down or um, anyways, the, the owner pulled the car from the shop and it was basically in pieces at that point. So, uh, so he, uh, over a period of a couple of years, tried to figure out what he was gonna do with it, and it was taking up two stalls in a garage, and it was again just completely disassembled so he ended up deciding to sell it and so i bought it from him um, and within uh, it was about a year ago and the intent of rebuilding it similar to what it was before but definitely changing a lot of things too um, yeah so that's that's kind of how i came in <laughs> yeah well and i mean it's notorious as and i hate to say this because i'll get chastised for it the only cool mustang too that was ever built yep. you know and so when i had heard that that had happened to it yeah that was kind of beside myself because yep. you know um, i'm a mustang fan yep. and i understand why people aren't the biggest fans of them but that one was so cool and for you to get it and resurrect it take it and bring it back man let me just say thank you yeah all the mustang two fans let me say thank you for that yeah we we've had a lot of them reach out to us they all been super awesome about it and, uh, you know you get some guys that are uh, uh they want everything to be stock and, oh yeah, 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 yeah and so yeah. there's not everyone's super happy with it but uh that's that's uh that's okay everyone's got their own opinion. that's right well that's so, why we make custom vehicles exactly, right? exactly so tell me what changes you made it's changed quite a bit so yeah tell me what you've done different to it this time so uh it part part of it was the previous owner uh and myself so it was a little combination of both um so uh, the whole tail section of the car used to have a uh uh, Toyota Celica tail section on it and so uh, that's that's gone now it, it was om almost like a straight up and down look to it before and now it's got a swooped look and instead of the Celica tail lights it's got uh, Torino tail lights uh, so kind of back to the you know it's, it's not Mustang but it's Ford <laughs> right. so and is that all custom fabricated or yeah so the, yeah again the whole back of the car is custom fabricated the only thing that isn't are the tail lights are right. off of a Torino so that's cool so yeah yeah and then, uh, of course, the when I bought it, uh, the drivetrain was completely gone. Uh, so uh, it originally had a V10 in it, and I had a Gen 2 uh, Coyote sitting around from another project that I was working on. Uh, so we decided to use that engine in there versus trying to rebuild uh, the Coyote or the uh, uh, V10 because again, it was in pieces and it just wasn't worth it. And the and the uh, performance of the V10 just wasn't where a Coyote could be. So uh, so we opted for the Coyote and. Uh, basically, the entire drivetrain, including the transaxle, transmission differential, is all brand new in the car or uh, drop out from a uh, Corvette and replaced in the car. So, like Z06 or something? Yeah, Z06, yep. yep. And you got the front suspension, what'd you do for that? Uh, that's a Z06 as well, so, okay. yep. And then, is, it, is the car a chassis car? Uh, so, the, the original uh, build was, uh, so they basically cut the shell of the car off of the subframe and put it onto a custom tubular uh, frame. So it's all uh, custom chassis, hand-built chassis. So. And so all that's still Yep, the all that's still, still intact. Yeah, there's a younger guy, there's a couple of guys who built it, but uh, the younger guy that worked at the shop at the time, uh, he, he basically built the, the chassis by hand, the whole uh -huh. thing. So yeah, cool. pretty amazing. Everybody wants to know tire size and wheels, or wheels, tires, and size? Uh, you know, off memory, I'd have to go look at them. Yeah. I don't remember how. You know, if they're like 19s or 20s or uh, 18s? They're, they're uh, 19s in the rear, 20s in the front, or excuse me, 19s yeah. in the rear, uh, 18s in the front. Okay. So. And then what color is it? 
Uh, so it's Grabber Blue. Okay, yeah. so that is the original Grabber Blue. Uh, well, the original car was Kona Blue. No, so right, right. But Grabber I mean, it's the, it's the Grabber Blue that Ford did. Correct, yeah. Y'all didn't the, mess with that color. You correct, yep. It back it's the Ford, Ford Pink. Right yeah. on. And then the interior is just pretty much set up as... 100% custom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's... So. But not like luxury custom. No, like, no, no. Uh, it's uh, it's built as kind of a racy kind of feel to it. It's cause seats aren't comfortable, you know. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's, I got gotcha. you. It's uh, it's got a full roll cage in it, so uh, it's not like you're gonna go street cruising. Or no, I like tell that. people all the time, hot rides are not reliable. Um, they're not comfortable. There's a lot of things they're not. But yeah. at the end of the day, the one thing they are is cool. Yep. And that's why we drive them. <laughs> yep. So now it's cool. What are you gonna do with it now? So. Uh, we just finished the car two weeks ago, so we got some tweaks to do on it. Uh, you know, it's, we got it ready for SEMA, and it's always a scramble. Uh, so now we're gonna, it's gonna go back to the shop, uh, to Revolution Speed Shop. They're gonna do some final uh, tweaks on it, and then we're just gonna enjoy the car. So cool. we'll take it to shows, and uh, uh, who knows, it might be at SEMA again next year. We'll see. <laughs> what uh, what area of the country does it live in? Uh, so I'm in. I'm from Minnesota. Okay. Just north of Minneapolis. Uh, Revolution Speed Shop is out of uh, Auburn, Washington. So I'm just saying you might show up at a good guy show or an NSRA oh, yeah. show, yep. right? Yeah, so yeah, we got. That's probably a little easier for people to come see than a SEMA show. Absolutely, it's, absolutely. it's a little tough ticket to get sometimes. Yep. So, no, oh, cool, man. Yeah. I am so glad you brought it back because, like I said, it is um, the first time around. It did wonderful for me, and I understood why because yep. at the end of the day, you didn't think you could make a Mustang too cool. Nope. And they had to co do a lot of changes to do it to pull it off. But now you've gone back and put a little bit more Ford back in it, and yep. uh, no, I think you've I think you've done the thing right. I think you've done it justice. So, awesome. Dave, again, thanks so much for doing that and for giving me some time today, brother. You bet. Thanks. Appreciate it. So there you go from the 2021 SEMA show, the 1978 Mustang II, Mustang Evolution. Mustang Evolution has undergone a transformation. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.